Hi, I'm Chris from Air Windows, and it is Sunday, so it is plug-in time. I don't have the most exciting plug-in in the world, but I've been keeping busy doing a lot of interesting things anyhow, and I'll tell you about some of them. Like I think some people know that I've been working on trying to make a synthesizer technology that do-it-yourselfers can uh, do themselves without hand tools and stuff. And I've been kind of coming up with ways of doing that. Uh, initially, the design for this was that it should work uh, and be the same as Eurorack. Fortunately, the size of these are different, so it's constructed out of stretcher strips, as you can see, for canvases. And Eurorack modules kind of fit, fall right through the slot here, but the perf board that I'm using and advocating that people should use for this kind of thing uh, comes in a larger size so I can still use this and if you get the stretcher strips and the right pieces of hardware you can make a nice uh, DIY synthesizer test bed for oh, I think 15 bucks or so maybe and then when you're done I'll be building stuff to go in this on future streams. That's it, maybe. But as you know, people are mostly interested in plugins, and that's something else that I'm doing more of and in more interesting ways. And uh, these days, on Mondays, I am doing plugins and coding them live in my Q&A streams. I have a neat idea for the one that I want to do for this coming Monday. I want to experiment with um, matrix reverbs because I recently worked out a standard technique for how those are done and it takes fewer delay buffers and things to do. So we can kind of walk through trying to get that up and running tomorrow. But for today, I have a plugin called Biquad Triple. And I won't go into great length about this, other than to say I've got some developments uh, coming along the lines of this. But this is essentially a biquad filter, which is um, stacked up kind of like biquad double that I just did. This is three of them now. So what you get... <laughs> is a much steeper filter for normal types of uh, resonance. That's 0 0.71, so that's pretty close to a Butterworth, which is no bump on the uh, resonant peak of the filter. So we can do stuff like this, or... a nice steep bass cut. Just going to cut lows out without a lot of uh, resonant bump in there. Or we can have a nice band pass. And of course you can increase the Q for this, and it'll get even more effective than the usual biquad because this is three of them in a row. Or... A notch. And of course, if you do boost it, you will get a much more aggressive bump there. So yeah, that's Biquad Triple. And this is along the lines of um, tools to make tools. The reason that I did this was in case somebody wants to do a thing or maybe code a plugin and they're mocking it up using other plugins, which is mine are well suited to doing that with. If you wanted to do three biquads in a row for a steeper curve without the resonant bump, you know, a Butterworth style one, 
Or if you wanted to fool with the, for instance, let's go back to this again. So this is essentially Butterworth, so it's a fairly steep cutoff, but you can also stack some of the other resonant frequencies and use a lower Q because other types of resonant bump have different behaviors. Butterworth is the one without the peak on the edge of the resonant bump. But uh, here, just a moment, I will switch back to OBS. So Butterworth is the one without the bump on the end of the resonant frequency, but there are other curves that are, for instance, better with transient impulses that are maybe not quite as steep as the Butterworth, but they behave better in transients. So you can dial in stuff like that. And using biquad triple, you can hear what it sounds like or come up with your own curve. And knowing that it is tripled up. Now, this is not the end of this development, although I'm not going to simply go and do biquad quadruple or whatever and just keep going with that. Turns out there are ways of dialing in nice, steep, like 36 dB per octave filters and stuff, known ways of doing this, where rather than the Q factor being the same each time, you're going to use two or you're going to use three or whatever biquads or other types of filters. And they have staggered Q factors. Like some of them will be slower and then more. And then some of them might actually be steeper than Butterworth. And I might be able to get a kind of isolator filter out of that. That'll be another experiment. And, uh, when I come up with that one, it's likely to be a low pass, high pass type because they would match in that case. And it would like it would not have a Q knob because it would be preset. And very possibly also not the well, maybe it would have the wet, dry inverse because let's go back here for just a moment. Here's one of the reasons you might want that. If I have a uh, nice steep filter, but maybe a little bit shallower, so it has that better transient response. And I set the frequency here, and then I do inverse. Okay, never mind. I thought that was going to do something else. I think what we're going to get here is a... Uh, some of the types. Well, maybe it's not acting the way I want. It's kind of acting like the same thing, so we'll see about that. Um, it might be worth revisiting. Honestly, inverse dry wet is more use in some other things anyhow. And I don't consider this to be the most important of plugins because it's just an experimenter one. I intend to use it at all wet all the time. But yeah, you could switch it between the low pass and the high pass and act like it was a speaker crossover. And if you were using this isolator style, you'd be able to sweep it and get the tone of that isolator style filter as it was moving. Anyways, just keeping, keeping busy with stuff, as you can see. I have resumed doing uh, music jams, although I'm still evolving that, and that gives me ideas for plugins and synthesizers and things. And yeah, that is by quad triple. And I hope you like it. In fact, I think I know what happened with the not having the inverse working. I think it works on, let's take a moment and check. Uh, a different style of by quad while I'm at it.
Ah, I see. Okay, by quad is just dry wet. And we might we might call that a um let's look at by quad two. Ah, by quad two is in dry wet. I think what ended up happening was I was working on stuff from BiQuad, so the inv wasn't actually doing anything. If I do this speaker crossover style one, I have the option of either having type or this, this one actually will not give you a Q lower than one. very slowly as well so okay these bi quad filters are just for tinkering with and uh, if you're looking for the in dry wet to be doing stuff that doesn't seem to be functioning right now but the things I have coming up include the base amp plugin that I worked on on stream a couple of weeks ago, one called Tremo Square, which is kind of like one of my um, Eurorack modules. The uh, the WMD DVCA is able to do a VCA effect and only change the volume or turn the volume on and off on zero crossings, which gives you a distinct sound. And so I coded that in a plugin. I'm not sure if you have that. It might be worth me putting those out rather than going into bi quads over and over and over again. So for the time being, there you go, bi quad triple. Don't expect to get anything out of the in for dry wet because call that a typo or not actually doing what it was intended. And since it's bi quad triple, you can do the same thing by switching it from low pass to high pass, and it would do the same thing that in dry wet would have done if that was functioning. How about I get back to work? I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.